Hello guys, welcome back to Rico's Aquariums. Today we're going to go over water clarity and everything about the aquarium and what's going on. I had a great time down at uh, the frag swap in our Lakeland, uh, Florida. It was Josh Pork Sandwiches event. Great time. I'm going to show you what I collected from him as well, along with Glow Pop, I Frag It, and Wards Aquatics. All these guys are great. They sent me home with some pretty nice stuff. So shout out to them. And I'll throw some pictures in as well and who they are and stuff like that. So I'd like to go over the clarity of the aquarium. As you guys may or may not be able to tell, the water clarity is pretty clear. You guys are probably wondering what did I do different. Honestly, to be honest with you guys, I did absolutely nothing. Okay, I knew it was a bacteria bloom, and I w really wanted to see what your guys' reactions, what would you do, why would you do it, what would you utilize, and stuff like that. And, and the real thing is what I wanted to see is how many people that would react to a situation that, honestly, you really didn't need to react to it at all. Sometimes it's just best to go ahead and leave things alone. We like to panic a lot in this hobby and sometimes the being, you know, when you panic, you call, you cause a, a situation that you really didn't have a situation in the first place, if that makes sense. Meaning, it's a natural event that was going on, okay? It was just a bacteria bloom, okay? It's going to clear up on its own if you leave it alone. Now, I wasn't going to get into UV sterilizers or anything like that. Not saying that that wouldn't help, but also... I've said this multiple times in the past that the UV sterilizer is not going to discriminate what goes through it uh, at all, the good or the bad, okay? It's a bacteria, you know, bacteria blooms happen, it's okay. Also, wasn't sure uh, what's going on with the Achilles. A lot of you guys want to know what's going on. The Achilles, as you may see him here, right there, he's doing good. He's doing as good as he can be. Now, I have seen some aggression. He was just beating on a pot of blue and a couple other people because they're by his territory. I guess he's done marked out in the aquarium. Now, he still looks a little, he, he, he did look a little rough while I was going. I guess the wife said he was looking rough, but he was eating. He's swimming. He's doing his thing, and he's still irritated. So, over time, that should, as long as he stays alive, he should be fine. I'm very comfortable and confident in what I'm seeing personally with him. Uh, you can tell he's definitely stressed out, though, as well. Also, real quick, I will be making a video on this as well. This is the RODI uh, Flood Guardian from SaltwaterAquariums.com. Okay? Uh, I will be giving that away. At some point, I will be making a video, so you guys stay tuned for the video and what you would need to do. I'm thinking of a 10,000 sub giveaway. That's what I'm really thinking. Uh, let me guys know down in the comment section down below. Some of the rules would be is you have to subscribe to uh, one of their social medias and just put uh, Rico's Aquarium on their social media side of things. And I'll get into more details about that later. Just wanted to bring this out now to show you guys what I will be giving away here uh, pretty soon and doing a video on. So let's get into some of the corals that I actually picked up. I know you guys are uh, wondering what I got. I will throw what I was able to take pictures of. Not probably the best pictures, but I'll put a slideshow in this video as well to show you exactly what the pieces are. Now, I don't remember the names. I can send the pictures over to Ward's Aquatics, uh, Glow Pop, his buddy. They're Man, they're like this. They're really good people. Uh, if you see them at a show, make sure you stop by your booth. And I frag it as well. So, I'm going to get in here. I'm going to show you guys. But first, I must say, it is really nice to start seeing SPS start to pop up everywhere. And I'm going to show you the Zoas. You guys know I'm not that big in Zoas. Don't even know what some of them are uh, at all because I'm not, you know, keen to those really. But I did tell you 
that I will be putting uh, Zoas all through here. So let's get to it. Let me show you what we have in the aquarium already. All right, everyone. Here is. As soon as I stop getting photo bomb, this is uh, bright lights right now. Uh, one of the pieces that I ended up getting from Glow Pop and Ward's Aquatics. That is one. Looks pretty happy so far. It's doing great. Let's get to the other one. There we go. I'm getting photobombed. That is the other one. And this is far away, so I am zooming in. And when these things grow out, I'll be able to uh, really capture from top down and show you exactly the color in these things are sick. Here's another one. Let's get it right there. Hold on. There we go. This is from iFragit. I forget the exact name of it with all these names. Um, pretty awesome piece. Shout out to iFragit again as well. Looking really good, guys, as you guys can see. So far, it looks happy being there. It's got good flow as well. We also have this piece. Like I said, we're getting photobombed. Sorry. That piece is, is also from Glow Pop and uh, my boy Ward's Aquatics. As you can see. And like I said, apologize for the photobomb of the fish. But we'll get better pictures of this at a later date. Here we go. This guy as well. Like I said, uh, this is also from Glow Pop and Ward's Aquatics as well. So, let me zoom out a little bit. So, that one in the back here from Ward's Aquatics and Glow Pop. And all the rest of this is from Mr. Josh Pork Sandwich. This is going to be the Zoa Rock Garden. Okay. These are all his signature pieces that he felt that uh, he wanted to for me to take home and take care of his babies. He did warn me. Um, I better not kill them or I'm in trouble. So we got to make sure that these guys stay as healthy as possible because um, I don't want no problems. Um, look at these things, man. They're really sick. And I'm not, you know, like I said, I've never been a really big into Zoas. I can't really get uh, everything, but um, these things are sick. Um, I'm really liking, come on, Mr. Potter. I mean, uh, Foxface. Let's go. Move. Um, yeah, but they, they are sick. They look awesome. I'm hoping my wide angle lens here is really doing some justice. So everything else is doing great in the aquarium. Let me take this off. Alright. And like I said, sorry about the video and the quality. Um, but it is very hard. Especially with the uh, lights on like this. To really capture but this is going to be the the Zoa rock garden so I did pick up a couple other things as well um, let me put you back on the tripod and go over a couple more things on what I got and what I'm doing 
All right, everyone. So those are some of the things that we've got. I also have something else. If you made it this far, uh, there's a couple of things that I obviously picked up as well I'd like to share with you real quick. One of them is this uh, holding container. I got this from uh, Building an Obsession. This was what I picked up from Josh Pork Sandwich's booth. Uh, he was uh, selling these there. So you can uh, bring bring in your uh, bring your corals back home in. It's pretty nice. Really watertight seal. Bring it home. Corals did great. So there was 12 corals of his that we brought back in this container. So it's building an obsession. Let me see if I can get the name on here for you. Um, there we go. So building an obsession. I don't know if you guys seen these at the uh, show. Make sure you pick up one of these. These are really great as well. Get the camera focused back in. Also, ended up picking up. Let me do an unboxing here. As well, let me see if I can get this angled down. So, angle this down here. And I'll tell you where I picked this up from, which they have some cool stuff. Because I do have something else planned. All right. Break it. So, if you guys can see this this piece of rock here, I ended up picking up. It's a really nice piece. I can see a lot of cool stuff going on this rock. Uh, let me grab something. That down there. That piece and. This piece. So let me, let me uh, see if I can do this top drop. So this was at the show here. So I really liked it, this piece. So I snatched this piece up as well. Uh, I'm, I'm thinking about adding it into this aquarium, but first I will put it into the uh, sump area. It's a pristine rock. Also, real quick, if you guys, they do ship, by the way. So check them out. Right there's the website. Um, all the information that you will need if you would like to uh, check out their rock as well. It's called Pristine Rock. Once again, all the information is right there. Hopefully my hand's steady enough for you to pick that up. So... Shout out to them as well. I think that that is going to look really good. Let me get a really close up here. Let me see if I can zoom in on this rock. Yeah, look at that rock, man. That is awesome. That's an awesome piece. That is an awesome piece, man. I can see a lot of cool stuff going on that rock. Um, I got some things I will have to move around, but I'm going to move around. I'm going to make this rock work. I think I'm going to change a spot or two. Here, let me show you real quick. All right, so what am I thinking is moving my bubble tip anemone rock over where the bounce mushroom rock is, moving the bounce mushroom rock maybe in this section here, and then utilizing that piece right here. This is a big open spot. It might not look that big on camera, but it really is that big. This is a huge piece. This is a prime piece that uh, it looks awesome. So that's kind of what I'm doing. I have to play around with it a little bit to really see where it's going to fit nicely at and not overshadow or take away from what I have there. 
Uh, hopefully, I might not be able to use both pieces in the way that I'm thinking. I might only going to be able to use the top half, which would be uh, this half on the ground there, which is also what I'm thinking with some uh, A cans and, and stuff like that. I don't know. You guys let me know. What do you think? Uh, and then I can just use the other piece. Uh, at a later date, maybe for the other aquarium, or reach out to them and see if they can ship me in some more stuff like that, or catch them at another show. But that's kind of my plans. Don't know yet. We'll we'll get it when we get it and see how it looks. But with that being said, guys, if you're not subscribed, make sure you go ahead and hit the subscribe button, hit that notification bell for any future updates, and I'll see you on the next video. Peace. <laughs>